I'm proud that it's doing so well. In UK shop. We do ship though. Hello, YouTube audience. Sorry, you've. I, I've got I've got a bit of a confession, YouTubers. A little bit of a confession. Um, I have been just doing a little test stream over on Twitch before we went live here to make sure everything worked. But hello, good to see you. How we doing? Um, I'm going to go over it again because we um, I've spoken about it already once over here. We'll do it again. So today we are doing. Uh, let me find it. Bam. A 2.4 hour race at Le Mans online. 15 months of this amazing sim racer. Thank you, uh, Racing Jays, mate. Appreciate that. I wouldn't say amazing. Mediocre. Cheating on you. Listen, chat, I wanted to make sure everyone's experience was good. And on Twitch, you can actually do that sort of thing about having... Your, your stream then throttled afterwards, so. Well, it, it, everyone's like, is it really 2.4? It should be 2.4 hours. Website might be slow because I just shouted it out. Hopefully not. Is that NLS race such it is? Me, hello. We'll see. Well, the, the problem is, I don't know if you can see my driver thing is like ratings like B3, which isn't very good. So we're not going to be in a, a particularly high split for this one. Thank you, Leon Drifts, for the prime sub over on Twitch. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. Race starts at 8, so we've got about 28 minutes until we start. I'm just waiting for, maybe we might get into a practice server, who knows. Oh, no. Is he going to boot me back out again, then? Well, I've not fixed this bug, though. The bug where if you don't get into a session, you have to then restart your game. Thank you, Trophy 4. What do I think of this game? I mean, I've been, I've been pretty, like, um, pretty open how I feel about this game. I had a really good... Well, I had, I had a very not-so-positive first experience where I spent... Three or four hours trying to get my game work, uh, game to work, only to realise that having my VR headset on and not even engaged ruined the game's frame rate to the point where it was unplayable. In fact, if you go through, um, there were some patch notes or like uh, some known issues, and there's a line about that in there. That's because of me. That's because of me. Um, then I had a really good race around the Mall in a Ferrari. I really enjoyed doing that. And then I um, had a stream where it broke everything. Then I had another stream where I tried driving on my own and the AI died. Basically, TLDR, it's a bit of a mess. Big, It's a big mess, but I like driving in it, so. Can I come in practice? For, can I come in? Let's try practice four. Come on, bro, let me in. Yes, if you are, if you're driving around and there's attempt cars, then what you want to do is literally just um, just go back to the pits and it will load all the cars up. It's just it's just yeah, it's an RF one and an RF two thing. Been that that's been around for like six, twenty years. <laughs> when when did RF one came out? Come out? I don't know. Oh yeah, the music. I forgot that was on. Oopsie, should probably turn that off. I forgot that I had the music on still. <laughs> well, this stream's getting copyrighted, boys. There are other tracks other than Le Mans. I just like driving Le Mans in these cars. Also, anyone who's played RF2, welcome. Please, no punterino, Jimmer. Thank you, Eamon. Good to see you, mate. Hello, Jimmy and chat. Hello. Here's our car. We've got the Boyota Bazoo no Basing. David, thank you, mate. Hey, Jimmer. Hi. Want an opinion, no next sim purchase, a dedicated pit for my kitten, or a better wheel on a shitty flexi desk than the G29? 
The rigs are gonna make the biggest difference, honestly, bro. Yeah, Aren't you pagan gamer? Cheers, dude. Basement dweller, new one. Um, the rig's gonna make a bigger difference. Because you're gonna be able to be consistent with what you do in the in the steering and the braking. You'll like that more, trust me. YouTube is pushing this game. How will they push it? Is it because people are playing it? I wish I can go closer though. My, I can't have my patented window liquor FOV, which is a bit of a shame. Brother, I think it's cold. Oh, Porsche in the background just died. You can change the FOV, yeah, but I don't want to change the FOV. I want to move my... I like having a quite a, a big FOV for the sense of speed. People hate it. People come in like, what the hell are you doing? But I like it. Um, and then I like to move my seat forward instead. But they have like a limited seat thing for some reason. Just let me put it where I want. We might break the game, who knows? Say hello to my girlfriend Chloe and our newborn son Kyan. Am I saying that right? Romance is a great game, but no matter what I do, every race is two hours oh well. Can't wait to see you on the real race track soon. Also watching you kill the AI was Tintin's comedy. <laughs> oh mate, thank you, bro. That's um that's very kind. You think you fell us twenty dollars, mate? Okay, I'm sure we'll uh, be, we can beat NLS buddies, right? That'd be fun. Thank you, mate. That's um, that's very kind of you. I appreciate you, and uh, that's very generous. Watch me crash now. Um, yeah, to, but uh, to Michael's newborn child, subscribe to Jimmy Broadbent. Remember, chat. We've got to get him young. It's all about imprinting that first impression. Jimmy Broadbent YouTube channel. Subscribe. Tier free memberships everywhere. Done in chat. YouTube short of yourself subscribing to my channel. Whilst BMMG footage plays in the background. this on to any really smile. Pass it on to Annie? How do I give her a member? I'll try. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Max, mate. Max, being very generous. Thank you, buddy. Welcome to the basement, too. Oh, God. So, yeah, I've changed my setup slightly. So, one of the big things I hate about the Mon Ultimate uh, it might be true of the car in real life, I don't know, but it's hard to get the thing out of the corner, isn't it? Either on traction control or it's sliding around. So what I've done is I've taken my TC... You can see my TC settings down there somewhere, I think, maybe. But I've taken them right down. I basically halved out all of them, and now the car is far more drivable out of corners. You can get a bit of a slide. Still not great, but... Thank you for the resub there, SBC. Appreciate you, mate. Oh, slow. Otherwise, I'm pretty much running baseline, but the car feels nice. For me, the purpose of this race is to get through it and not. I don't really care about where I finish. I say that as soon as I get to traffic for the first time, we'll see. Well, so I don't know how many cars we're going to have, or if it's going to be very, if it's going to work very well. I wouldn't say it's undrivable, you've got to just learn to how it drives, you know. I think something that iRacing maybe doesn't do as well is that these cars are actually really heavy. They're difficult cars, you know. Especially like in these slow speed things.
This is against uh, um, real people, is it? AI. Then. Six months, baby. Six months. Who was that? Bearded boy, thank you, man. Where are they, though? Well, one's six seconds ahead of us, and one's 14 seconds behind. Dimmy, learn. What, what are you chatting about? Haha. <laughs> Do I rather Bimmer or Audi? Or what? What in general? Are they flagged? Oh, he's, oh, he's in there backwards. F Ferrari. It's a fast spend the moment there. I prefer Porsche, actually. <laughs> Another event after this one. This is the last one they've got this weekend. It's on at 8pm, so you can still go register now um, if you want to do it. But I don't know when that next plan event is. I, think, I, I don't know anything more than you guys know. Like, I'm here like as a as a user, you know. I'm, I'm not being told anything. No special treatment or anything at all. Just here driving. My favourite hypercar. I do like the uh, Toyota. But I've always liked Toyota. Even when it was boring and they were winning all the time, I still liked them because... Macar Weep. 27? Just. This is practice right now. The um, session opens at 8pm. Then I have practice, qualifying and a race. So we've got quite a bit of driving today. Hope you guys like them on. And the Toyota. I got turning earlier there. Ooh, that's why. Ah, oh, this corner's so hard. Yeah, you get track really, the cut, track up really easy there. Any updates on the Scuff Supra? Um, not really. It's still good. Don't want to do the Bathurst 12. Uh, I thought about it honestly, but. Not really, I don't know. I didn't really feel the need to do it this year. I think because I've not actually driven. I've not driven Le Mans for a long time, so like, I didn't like in a race. I thought, okay, I'll give that a go instead. Uh, no, Eric, all the chickens got eaten by foxes. Well, I'm not quite sure what split we're going to be at. I just hope we have enough. Like, I hope we aren't in like a 10 car split or something. On the curb, not over it. There you go. 2.4 hours of the race. It's all right if you're, if you're new, man. Like, we're. I like to think that one of the good things about this community is we're not the, um, like, that elitism vibe that seems to be hovering around sim racing, that's not, that's not allowed to. One of the proudest things I've done, I think, as a YouTuber is foster a community that actually seems to like each other for the most part. Very easy to be toxic and shout at everyone, which I do sometimes. You always got to reflect on that.
Well, we're going to find out what it is. Hopefully it's, hopefully it's 2.4 hours. Oh, yeah. Kind of weird stuff there. See how it moves around? How is this for consistency? Look at that. Look at that delta. Yeet. Oh, that's a track cut. Heck! If you want a spotter, you know that crew chief is working with this game. If you want a radar, any RF2 plugin works. Ah, oh, really? Radar will probably be a good idea, but I think I'm a bit late to the pie to do that now. I love the rhythm of this of this track once you get into it. Some people hate them on, and I understand why. It is, oh my god, are you about to die? Yep. Game's like, yeah, it's fine. How to ruin your relative. 36 car splits. Okay, well, let's hope we we get the actual cool cars in it. Um, we're going to be fairly low down in the splits. My drive rating is not very high, so we might end up with the i racing style where we just end up with like just hyper cars or just something else, you know. Yeah, Bacho. I think I saw you in chat there. How you doing, man? You drive this shit, Bacho? Seems floaty. The car itself is a little bit like fat, you know. It's a big girl. So my battery charge there. It's not like linked to performance. The only thing that it can do is if I, if I get full and then break into a corner, it will stop regenerating and I'll have a very sad moment, usually a spin. So it's actually quite a good idea to do that. Also, well, it's part of the NRG down the bottom there. So I explained this earlier, I'll explain it again, because Bailey explained it to me earlier, and I nearly threw up because it's so boring. But basically, the hybrid's just there to assist fuel efficiency. Your engine's got like a maximum torque. So if you start using your hybrid, your engine makes less power to compensate, and you're using the electric power instead to hit that same torque figure. And that's... Uh, that then is combined into like an energy rating, which you can see at the bottom. So fuel really is just part of that, but if you use too much energy in your stint, so fuel usage included, then you can end up um, not being able to use all the fuel in your tank. Does that make sense? It's basically, it's, it's a bit ridiculous and a bit boring. And not very spectacular at all, but that's modern, modern endurance racing. I'll say that. Imps is pretty rad. Oh. Please go fast. I'm a second up. Only the best, Jim. Oh, my time didn't count. Come on, Porsche, get on with it. I am in the S uh, yeah. Thank you, Wilson. Good to see you, mate. Thank you, dude. Appreciate you ruining 
pull that. Awesome bits, thank you. Let me just navigate this. Wrong gear. Thank you, Fritz. Thank you, man. Life's been very kind to me these last few years. I'm doing my best to try and, uh, you know, be around, be uh, accessible. Give you guys as much entertainment as possible. Even if it's just sitting here and being bad at video games, you know, I'll do my best. Oh, so here's something I want to run by you guys. This is something I'm thinking about doing. You can tell me if it's a stupid idea or not while you're all here. Um, I'm thinking of making a, another YouTube channel based solely around solely solely around um, I guess cars I've noticed racing I think would still stay on this channel but cars themselves like maybe buying some old shit or somewhere doing it up doing that sort of thing and just sort of doing it as a bit of a passion project on the side uh, maybe trying to like cheap builds and stuff like that because I've always wanted to do that sort of content but I never really had the means to do so now I've maybe try it out but I think on the main channel it just wouldn't really work because in the nicest way possible you guys a lot of you guys are here for sim content and that's fine but might be a cool place to do like i don't know i think about buying some sort of shitter and doing it up and make it into like a nice road slash track car I don't think it would work on the main. I honestly don't think it would. I mean, I could put it out, but then it's like further splitting the audience, you know what I mean? It's really tough. I think I already split the audience a little bit with the NLS content and stuff like that. All right, come on. Content. This is my pleasure. Thank you for watching. Come on. Just want that 36. God! Heck it! Bro? That was terrifying. It's going so slow. You've got to speed up when you come on the racetrack. 36, 26. I can't read all right. Don't worry about it, chat. And he said something to me that made me think about it. Is that like, you could just not do it and then things will stay the same, or you could do it and maybe things will be a bit different. Which made me think about it, you know. My real passion has always been like cars and racing and like, the fact that I get to do it now is amazing. It's a dream come true, definitely. And I still love sim racing, but I would like to pursue the other thing too, you know. Oh, there are races tomorrow. Okay, well, there are races tomorrow too. Hopefully we can, uh, We'll survive this one. So my strat is go for the medium tyre and hope for the best, basically. The only thing I've changed the setup really is I've changed my brake bias, changed the migration a bit. Apologies about Thank you, what? Old on Twitter yesterday. <laughs> Love you, Granddaddy Jimmer. Also, yes, you Love should it. make make another channel for old car content. Go for it. I'm an old person. Hi, Jimmy. Oh no. This is what I wanted to be, Mr. McScrimble. People treat you differently when they see your name. 
But I guess I'm literally broadcasting this name to like loads of people anyway, so. Well, Bailey said he might try to soften the Cadillac, it's all we can really drive, but for me, I kind of want to... I should probably try a pit entry quick, actually, I've got time, haven't I? Hello, Paul, how's it going, mate? Like, um... I don't know if you guys know uh, oh, what's it, oh, Benny Surge. I have no idea what he did before he did that, but I think he had quite a big career as another sort of YouTuber. And then started doing like other videos, and they're just so nice. His attitude is really cool. I, I just like that idea. Almost got the breaking right. I would do this. No, 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 no. Put in more energy. More passion. More passion. More energy. Rust, that was it. I knew it was something like that. <laughs> yeah, I've noticed that to that. I need to I might put a little bit of dead zone to the break. I'm doing that actually. Control. Done. My opinion on the game. All right, Faye, don't worry, mate. <laughs> well, I was fairly sure we didn't do that. Um, the race is coming up. Starts in this time. My opinion on the game is that I enjoy driving it a lot. I think maybe because there's quite a lot of RF2 in here, which I actually enjoy driving quite a lot. Um, but it's pretty... What's the word? Pretty bought. So we'll see how it, how it goes. A lot of Ferraris. What's the split? Seems to be a lot of hypercars. A lot of hypercars. Oh, really, damn. Shit, man. Sorry, Dream Me needs to shut the fuck up then. Porsche, your favourite? I just hope we're in like a split with a good split of cars and. We'll see, you know. I've never used a system before. Please, no Panterino, Jimmer. Thank you, Matt. Cheers, Steve. Thank you for the fiver. You'll only know if it doesn't work when you do it. What's the worst that can happen? Exactly, Make the channel king. I think it's about doing stuff that I, I need to... I love doing sim content, but I feel like there's you, you get quite limited quite quickly in sim content. I, I want to just do as much as possible, you know. So I'm probably going to be in like a hypercar-only split here. 171 hypercars and like, yeah, shit. Really, Andrew? I don't know, mate. Um, it, it seemingly like random things can upset the game quite a bit. I say, if you have it, my, my big, the thing that happened to me and it's like, took me four, yeah, three, four hours, if I don't know, a lot of hours to diagnose was like the VR headset thing. You got a VR headset plugged in? Unplug that shit, man, because that, that'll just, uh... No, the NASCAR isn't in the game. I don't think it's coming either, which is a real shame. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm liking Helldivers too, um, Sim Rally. I'm not very good at it, but I quite enjoy it. I played the first game a little bit, so... Right, I need a Wii, so we're about to see what our split looks like. So I'm going to come back, and hopefully we've got a nice split. We'll see.
Hello. This our split. People still loading in, I think. 15 people so far. Not a nice split. Hopefully we'll get some more people in. Yeah, fingers, mate. I know. I, well, honestly, I didn't know what the hell I was going to do in my life. And then I suddenly became a YouTuber. I don't, I don't really plan a lot of things. Well, I think GTA Omega offered to send me a seat. <laughs> but they're like, guys, you're, 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 you've got a big old stinky seat there, bro. And I was like, yeah, I have. Come on, more, more, more cars. I'm in split 13. Oh, no. Well, thank you for the info, Andy. Apparently our split is 12 hypercars, 11 LMP2s and 11 GTEs. You can run what you want. Uh, what, what are people running? Let's see what people are running. We've got um, Ferrari, me and Toyota, Porsche, Porsche, Ferrari, Toyota, Ferrari, Porsche. Pretty good mix. I mean, none of the... No Peugeots. <laughs> What's my take on the... He's been asking on my take on the set of Corsa 2. Is there anything... Is there anything... Any of the Corsa 2 footage out there? Is there anything out there? Because how am I meant to have an opinion if it, nothing exists? I don't know what it's going to be. A set of Corsa is probably one of the... It's probably one of the greatest sim games of all time. No van war glicks. I tried the glick around here. It's like multiple seconds slower. Well, in my hands anyway. I should probably actually... Thank you, Padlock. Appreciate you, mate. I've, as always, I've done zero qualifying practice, so... Uh. Well, that's what, um, I don't know if you guys remember, but do you guys remember the release of Dirt Rally, the original one? Again, in early access, do you remember that? It just literally, they're like, oh, here it is, no trailer, no nothing. Well, this is practice, but I'm doing a, going to do a qualifying sim. reskins that's an interesting point to make I mean it's, it's hard to say really I think I think it shows that there's just not a lot of money in sim racing to go out and be designing a game from scratch you know take that fuel
I, I think I remember playing ACC like once or twice when it came out and then dropping it for a very long time. Oh, that's not good. Driver's got the ping. I would love to have a stab at making my own sim or being like an advisor on one. I know what I would love in a sim, but I don't know if that's what everyone else would love in a sim, you know? Also, I think people sometimes confuse the fact that because I've got a few subscribers on YouTube, that my opinion is like better or worse than somebody else's, you know? I ain't a game designer, I'm a, an idiot consumer. You have, a bit, you have quite a bit of control over the deployment. Well, the actual deployment, no. How much you deploy? Lots. You can't always set not to deploy it as well, but turn it off. But the hybrid isn't there to give you extra performance, it's just there to aid fuel efficiency. So, like, you don't get anything from having it off, really. Oh, thank you, Davey. It's very kind of you, mate. Definitely not the best, but I appreciate your kind words. I think it's very easy to get put in a position of power and then think that means you know things. Especially like as a YouTuber. If anything, being a YouTuber has made me realise I don't know anything. Right. We've got a guy on our way here, but it doesn't really matter. It's not actually a qualifying lap, so. And then curbs. Oh, what a shame. I followed them off like an idiot. Does pass driving line work? What's the pass driving line? Dare I ask? <laughs> Batch, they did that, man. <laughs> Not he's missed. Is he going to hit me? These are real people. As you can see. It's not Sim Racing Ultimate until you've got a companion game for eight guys jumping over a pit wall and doing mini games for the pit stop. That'd be the best, wouldn't it? That's something that I would get rid of. Hold you mini games or like pit stop mini games, fuck off. Don't care. Doesn't happen in real life. Don't come in the NLS. If I can hit the the orange justice and then get out of the car. You know what I mean? I haven't got to press left at the right time to get into the pit lane. Some guy called fucking Klaus just yanks you out of the car and that's the end of it. My, my, if I made a, uh, like a sim game, and it probably wouldn't end up being the best way of being profitable. I would just make the driving as fun as possible. It's all I would care about. Good move. Great move.
That's the sort of move that Bailey would like roll his eyes at. <laughs> so I still do a free twenty seven. Nice. I'm just getting used to driving like this. I've not, I've not driven the car on low fuel yet. So I'm driving it on low fuel, just getting used to how it feels. Best thing you can do to get good at anything is just do laps. Is it practice qualifying coming up? There is no pistol animations right now. I've not tried the uh, AMS2 update. I'm actually convinced that's like a copy pasta. I, I love AMS's new update. And every time someone comes in and says that, I go, alright, I'll give it a go. And it just feels exactly the same to me. Ah, <laughs> oh, good luck with the essay, mate. Remember. It's not can't, it's cannot. It's not don't, it's do not. Got to pump up that workout, mate. Did Rensport fall off a cliff? Oh my god, guys. Did you hear about that competition? So, it's a good competition, you're going to like it. Um, it's a competition, um, you have to, I think, log on to Rensport compete in five races which is kind of hard to do because you can't actually buy the game you just randomly get it in the key oh shit me <laughs> just thought i'd park it up there i'm i'm good the relatives good chat um so only some people can actually do it and then oh anyway um, so you have to, like, I think take part in five races and you get anything the chance to win a VRS direct drive wheel signed by Kevin Ellis Jr. If you don't know who he is, he's an esports driver, but let's be real, not many people know who esports drivers are. Um, but the, the kicker is that the wheel doesn't work anymore. It's a dead wheel. So you're going to get, uh, so you're going to get your little, mon your little sim race memento signed by someone you probably don't know that you can't use sitting on your shelf at home. It literally says in it, like, this wheel doesn't work anymore. I might put a few more litres in, just so I can drive around. Because really, like, in real life, they don't just put in a little bit of fuel and go out. They just, like, drive around for a bit and then find the time from there. I'm going to put in a bit more fuel, and we're going to go out from there. Hey, litres. Lovely. I don't know how it doesn't work, but it's, it's just very odd, you know, it's a very odd thing to do in the line of very weird Rensport things to do. The best content comes from creators doing what Thank they you, Jingle. actually enjoy doing. Make the second channel, Jim, uh, we'll watch. Thank you, bro. I appreciate that, it's very kind of you.
Right now it's private qualifying, which is fine. By the way, that, that wasn't meant to be an insult against Mr. Ellis Jr. by the way. The guy's rappers. It's just maybe not. I think sometimes sim racing esports companies think that sim racing is bigger than it is. The only time sim racing gets mentioned in the mainstream media is when Max Verstappen does something in it, you know? Nothing that I or anyone any, anyone else of the sim racing creators could do but could make mainstream media news unless we did something terrible. Like, bad, you know? Thank you, Tricky. Yeah, it's, it's been great to see like people like Yano come up, you know. But he, that guy is frighteningly fast, and and is a streamer. Those are the sort of people that sim racing needs, really. It does mean, however, that. Sim races streamers maybe aren't quite as quick. Do you become somewhat obsolete? Don't worry about that. Oh yeah, I got mentioned in the Slime video, you're right. Pretty much the most famous person in the world now. Oh, the sad sound when you go into a corner a bit too fast. Right, shall we? Shall we go? The van wall. The van wall is horrible to drive, <laughs> but it's fun. It's fun to like try and beat P2s in it. I don't understand what the tyres do here. some of that motor map. Curves can suck my balls. <laughs> No, this doesn't actually increase my performance at all, it just means I'm just making sure I don't recharge my entire battery by the time I get down to the Mulsanne corner. I've done that a few times and the car just loops if we do that. Oh, I like the um, caddy sound in iRacing more, I think. So the, the cars there, like, they're on the relative, but they're not actually, like, we're in private qualifying, so we aren't going to see them. That's where they are on track right now, I assume. It's a bit late on the old brakes there, but we're okay. Oh, a bit late on the front one exit as a result. Fastest first sector, which is good. Is that a bit fixed, no? slow down at Molsan, but it's okay. I'd rather just get through that corner, to be honest. 
Line of six three. I don't know. I, I just like the Toyota. I think because the Toyota. Think about it, right? If if all us dirty streamers play a lot of hypercar stuff or LMDH stuff or whatever the hell you want to call them. Now I drive the Porsche and I racing or the Caddy and I racing. I can't drive the Toyota or the uh, Ferrari there. So ah shit. Balls. It's a bit too late on the brakes there. A bit too heavy on the brakes. Actually, it's more accurate, I think. Celebrity sim crashes. Who do you count as a celebrity? Are there any, are there any celebrity sim race? Yeah. I thought I, th I sort of forgot about uh, Courtois just because of how many times I got punted by him in the uh, all the races at home. Okay, four tenths off pole. See if we can find that. Broken. Of course he does. What kind of break far later than that? Time to be a little bit more adventurous to break on, I think, Jimmy. He actually does, nice. Well, yeah, of course you have mine with us. Where was I slow? Arnage and Indianapolis. Did we get four tenths back there or not? Oh, perfect. Oh, that was a nice, that was a nice small sand. I was right on the edge of what the car was going to do, I feel like. For the quite slow Indianapolis set. Just make sure I got through it. Oh, look at that. Look at that relative. You'll love to see it. Probably going to be the slowest car in the field when you put it in this. Oh, too fast. It's okay, I'm still alive. Bam!
the incredibly rare actually qualifying. I know, slushy mate, I was thinking that. Hold on to it, brother! Lost time of that mole sound, but it's okay. There's 23 in this. Fantastic to find a way about the chat. Oh, no, too much. Yeah. No! The 23! Oh, it's still there. Let's try out and race them to start yet. Well, it might be a boring race, but hey, Toyota, <laughs> Toyota moment. Okay, Borden. It's all right. Have we, I guess.
car sounds good from a um, exit, doesn't it? Please, no punterino, Jimmer. Jimmer, don't be in the watch you eye when the session changes. It's highly likely to lock you out of racing. Oh, hello, thank you. Um, yes, thank you, Dan. Um, I actually did that happen to me the other day. It sounds like it should have been a toilet, doesn't it? I'm going to try mediums for the whole race. I don't know if they're going to last that long. We'll see, though. Oh, wait. I've got to make sure that this number matches with the uh, virtual energy one. There you go. Yeah, whatever. I'll get you next time, Broadbent. For that. Oh. Thank you, Ryan. Welcome to the basement, mate. No, no, I mean, like here, you can see the field here. That does sound good, doesn't it? That ponker. Any ponkers going around? Oh, they will give them. Props to these guys for still being out there. It sounds so good. A uh, pretty low split. Touch the wall there. Go on, you go, mate. Here you go, launching it. I've only got a 325. Tell him he's washed, mate. 325 is nice, though. That caddy is not as quick as Twitter is. <laughs> you gotta see the flag, man. Oh, 
Right, I guess race coming up then. Forecast is lovely and dry throughout the race. I wonder if we're going to do a full pace lap. No driver stop, no, it's a single driver event, but it's still an enduro, so two hours. We haven't even started yet, it's 8.30, mate, I'm going to be up late. Why is Obama in the chat? Obama's a sim racer. We've known this for years. No full course yellows yet, as, I, as I've seen anyway. Right, come on server, hold it together. I hope about that crabby. Hopefully it doesn't happen here. If not, then short stream, you know. Twenty-four four, nice mate. Bailey, Bailey would kick my ass if I was in the caddy, but he's not, so I'm quicker. <laughs> Right guys, welcome on in. You've joined at the right time, you've just joined. Um, we have... Ladies and oh. gentlemen, please start your engines. Start your engines. Can I... We have... 2.4 hours of them on, coming up. If you're on YouTube, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you want. If you're on Twitch, hang us a follow if you don't mind. You also subscribe as well if you want, you know. You know. <laughs> Thank you, emoji. Wait, did I do the, the rear right tyre? Oh, oh, cheers, mate. I would have missed that. That would have been chaos in the pit stop. Off he goes. Already won the race chat. Cannot believe it. One of these buttons turns it off, right? That's not it. Save that fuel. I did change, I changed the tyre now. I've got a nice little reminder from you guys. It'll get launched back into the... Uh, into the field now. Sorry guys. I forgot. Well, this is the first time I've ever led a race away at Le Mans. Hopefully I don't get shunted to the T1, but we'll see. Green flag, let's go. Oh, there's already contact behind. Struggling with FFB settings for R21, send help. Oh, okay. We survived T1. That's the biggest challenge. Nice! 
Pass the cold, yeah, I know. Breaks the cold, so we're going to wreck a bit early here. Let's go! The sad hybrid noises. It's got to be nice and smooth on the old girl. Yeah, it's almost like um, you've got four billion laps until empty. It's just like it needs to go over the line once to calibrate, and then it's fine. Oh! Somewhere up behind me, one of the porch is done, I think. Well, but might be it's a known issue. <laughs> Dying on that one known issue. The cold tires and brakes are pretty brutal on that one. You really do have to account for them or you are gonna go off. It's funny because they do it quite well actually. That that feeling of having cold tires and brakes and just going off, like is something that I've it's happened to me almost a couple of times in real life. You can really feel it. I just shift there, I don't feel the car wants any more revs than that. Also, it says a bit of fuel. Don't really lose any speed. Play a bit of NRG. Yep. She's a bit hefty on that first lap. How's Bailey doing? I want Bailey updates. I'm not sure if um, Bailey's stream has a link in my chat anymore in Nightbot, but. Um, our good friend Stephen J. Bailey is also driving uh, in his version of this race in the Cadillac. Probably several splits higher than me. Bit too late on the brakes there. Well, the best way to drive this car, honestly, is at like 90%. That's when it responds best. You can start like trying to hustle it, but that's when you start getting the traction control, it starts like under steering into corners. There's a car that's maybe driven fast for a very long time, you know, so it's not going to be on the edge. Bailey. The Ferrari is not dropping back at a million miles an hour. Oh, fun. Um, and he's got the same graphics card as you. The 1050 Ti that could. And he was playing fucking Hell Dive, wasn't it, the other day? And he ha did it run well? Like, I didn't look at your screen very much. Throwing shade that I'm not in the glick. Tell him to glick off. No punterino, Jimmer. That's a cut. Don't see why I'd pick this over most other simulators, to be honest. I mean, I can understand that. I mean, I... Bear in mind that I come from, like, a... A background of endurance racing, you know? I, I love endurance racing, so this is going to appeal to me. I also grew up playing RF2. 
played a lot of RF2, so this all feels quite familiar to me. But you're right, I mean, like, online, it's not as good as iRacing. Um, the cars are decent, but I don't think iRacings are that much worse or better. You know, they're quite comparable. They just have an official WEC license, which is good. And quite good AI, but iRacing, surprisingly, also has quite good AI. People just don't really play it or know about it. Then for, like, like a set of courses, it's really good to basically doing whatever you wanted to. This is quite a narrow game. This is like, you know when ACC came out and everyone was like, Wah, I don't know. And it became like this massive eSport game. I reckon that's sort of what they're angling for for this. Going for that ACC avenue. But I don't know. I ain't going to tell you whether to buy it or not. You know, you've got to make that decision yourself. But I enjoy it. I'm enjoying driving right now. I'm enjoying chatting away whilst like doing that. This is what I like about endurance driving. It's like a, a calm thing. Nowadays, endurance driving feels like a very very aggressive thing the old you know it's just a 24 hour sprint race thing comes in no you're right people don't want to pay that money to play against, uh, play against AI that's a a pro for this game it's a one time expenditure you know I mean in an ideal world I say just try, try everything and enjoy it all but I understand that's not you can't not everyone's got that expendable income to do that Oh shit, I'm again. For me, this is like great practice for you know, NLS this year. I know it's not an Nürburgring, but it's like driving fast and consistently, 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 bloody hell, whilst trying to chat away, trying to keep that higher function going, you know, and not just being completely stuck into this. No, this is uh, against um, real people. Someone once said to me, if you want to get good at real life driving, or prepare for real life driving, you can drive the car on track you expect to go to, do that. But what's a better idea is to drive as many crazy combinations as possible with as little preparation as possible and adapt to it. And that's like the, um, the best way, I think, to prepare for weird real life scenarios that pop up. Go too fast into there. I'm not on qualifying fuel. Race is over. Ah, oh, that sucks, man. Well, the thing is, people are like, oh, it's over. I've got to get through traffic. A few times in this race, and MP2s that are quicker than this car into a corner and better on braking. GTs that maybe aren't quite used to being lapped. This guy behind me. It's doing quite a similar pace. They know it's far from over. You have to be well progressive with the throttle on this, I've noticed. Car's quite heavy. It's got a fair chunk of power, you know. No, I don't think that's Pablo. behind strong everywhere but the Porsche curves oh bah Jimmy that time was a like a cow it does a bit doesn't it oh first GT bravely overtaken Props that guy for sticking in the race, it'd be easy to quit from that position. 
Jimmy, get into the apex, mate. Get into the camber there. Keep missing it. Too early. Yep, thought so. And out it, fam. No, this is a hypercar. NP1 are uh, mar like, miles faster than this. I'm liking the energy system. It's pretty cool. I mean, I think ideally, really, to get the most out of it, you need like an engineer. I think getting the most out of it because it's all about basically fuel efficiency, isn't it? Like right now, using all my my motor really to push me along and using less of my uh, engine. Thank you, British Willy. Yeah, you know I, I can't believe I just subscribed to myself. <laughs> That's mad. How's the bot? Uh, Toyota and Ferrari are pretty quick. I mean, there aren't many people left in this race, it feels like. <laughs> it can be hard to interact with chat. You know, I've got two different chat boxes here, I, I have them separate. But you know, I, that's something I've got to put up with if I'm going to dual stream, you know, that's my problem. <laughs> Is there a meta car yet? Probably the Ferrari. I don't know what the ultimate pace of Toyota is because I, you know, I drive it and I'm not an eSport guy so I'm not going to be able to extract that from this car but... The Toyota feels very easy to drive. Like, if you drive the, the Glickenhaus after the Wiz, the Glickenhaus feels like it's just fighting for its fucking life everywhere. The Toyota feels like it's just cruising. It feels like, it feels like a car has been turned down a lot. And it's like operating well within its parameters, you know. Whereas the Glick felt like it was operating well beyond its parameters. Monza moment. Are we going for the night? I thought we might be. Any 327 is like basically my race base, so I'm happy with that. What I'm most looking forward to, what do you mean? Like in the game? Or like in real life? IRL. I'm very much looking forward to the quite massive announcement they're going to make fairly soon. <laughs> um, part of the reason I'm going to uh, Portimao, no it is the reason I'm going to Portimao, uh, very soon. It's going to be good. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm the 25 Merc driver guys, you got it.
Yeah, do you notice that when you turn on the um, the motor map a bit higher, you can hear it? How's this compared to idiot racing? Well, I guess you don't like I racing that much. <laughs> Now, the online is very basic compared to idiot racing. Um, wait, where did I lose nine tenths of a second? Why am I going so slow? Did I make a mistake somewhere? Or did I have a stutter and then my, I lost time because of that? I don't know what happened. So it doesn't... what? It's a bit slow, it's up I guess. Maybe the tyres are starting to go the other way already. Rip the mediums. I think I made a, a mistake that warranted me being a second off there. Oh, this looks dangerous. That's nearly a McNish moment there, wasn't it? But that happens, I'm still within an attempt, you know? Really slippy offline there. Oh, P2! What happened? He pitted. Oh, bro, he must have done something. Yeah, this game's definitely not uh, done yet. But I haven't said it is, to be fair, but you still have to pay for the experience of it not being done yet. We've got a long race left, yeah. Long time left in this race. It's nice to be leading, definitely, but... Got a long, long time yet before we can think about the victory. Oh, hey. It's real life racing driver slash sim driver. Hello! It's me. How you doing? Thank you, man. How you doing? <laughs> RF2 not done yet either. Brother. Maybe it's P2. How is he getting on? Is he catching P1? Is he near them? What is P1? Is P1 like a Ferrari? Yeah, what's P1 in Bailey's split? Shadowlack. Should put some tape on the uh, water. Running a bit cold at the moment. Oh, it was a nice window though. Okay. 
This car does drive good though, I do like it. A couple of little moments like that that I sometimes don't feel like I know are coming. But otherwise... It's just quite satisfying to drive it round. Feels like driving the... Um, that same driving feeling I got from driving the old... Uh, LMP1 and I racing the Audi, just to get into like a rhythm, you just happy there. Why do I shift so early? I don't know, I feel like that's where the car makes the power. I mean, I'm at a point right now where I don't really need to change anything. Rev it out. I don't know. Gonna have some, a little bit of duty driving coming up. Probably either this lap. The thing with these hypercars is we're not very agile at all. So in low speed stuff, GT cars are actually quicker than us. If we roll the speed in, we're okay, but we can't change direction the way they can. GT spotted. Oh no, my eyes! How do I like it? Enough to do this on my Saturday night, you know? I admit they were a bit slow and I thought they'd be through there. That time was a 329.34. Yeah, it'll be nice to that's someone a bit closer. But this is good, still good, good practice, you know? There aren't many cars in this. A lot of people retire quite early on, unfortunately, so... This guy's looking like he's on a gamepad or something. That was so stupid. See, look, we could quite easily be out of this race. Just take someone doing something crazy like that. Right, stay on your line, guys. We got away a bit, though. Might have a little bit of damage, but if we do, we'll just repair it in the pits. Oh, can't see the bloody apex. This time of day, the trap comes very hard to see. I, mean, I can see, like, straight away, like, he's he's moving around a lot, like, on the input. So it looks like he's on a gamepad or something, or a keyboard, so... Now a little lag spike down the straight there. Top 
things missing in this game. Um, driver swaps, both for uh, us and the AI. Oh, my front right's a bit bored there. Um, a functioning UI. Kind of works half the time. Stability. Garage 56 NASCAR. I'd love to see it. We're not going to see it, but I'd love to see it. The, the, thing, the, the thing that makes a Garage 56 car so good is that there's only one of them. So if you had them in the sim, you have like 10, 15 of them in the game, and it would be like, it would be weird. I make it so like someone randomly gets assigned to Garage 56 if they want to. No, that's, that's AI control, not stopping with the AI. That's a bit different. Like obviously, there'll be other drivers who drive a Toyota who aren't Rimble with Rimble. Okay. Kobayashi, Conway, Buemi. Anyone, anyone you want, but you can't change to them. And they, they, the other drivers don't do that either in like AI races. They'll just stay in the car forever. So we got away with that one. A lot of people here have not done multi-class before, it seems. Fucking hell, yeah, a lot of people who have not done multi-class before. on purpose or not. Oh my word. Getting sketchy out here, boys. My poor Toyota is damaged now. Oh my god! Mine! Bro, thank you so much! Martin Morton, I always read your name wrong. Oh dear, mate, thank you, Morton, there. With yet another ridiculous <laughs> donation, bro, thank you. Fucking hell, £74. That's a lot of money, man. You can buy them on Ultimate nearly three times of that. Thank you, dude. That's, um, that's mad. I appreciate you. There was a honk, it was very quiet though. Gone now looks nice, but I can't see where I'm fucking going.
I think we might have lights on. Man, that last lap. Went for the ringer there. Oh my god! The traffic is right on the race, you're right. It really is. I don't know whether you're going to survive or not. That button actually quick. Might be on some soft side, I don't know. It feels like I'm trying to be killed. I mean, like I said, not a lot of people have driver rating yet, and a lot of people are new to the game, and a lot of people are new to multi class. So maybe not everyone knows that you have to stay on your line. And they're just trying to be helpful, but being helpful is the worst thing you can do. And the guy behind you has already made his mind up where he's going. Oh, I can kind of see now. Malaysian <laughs> bus drivers. There is like a rating system, but my rating isn't very high right now. So I'm perhaps maybe a bit lower than I should be. My tyre's getting cold. Right. I've slowed right down. Fourth place. Ah, oh, that's pretty cool. If not, the blooms a bit much. Oh my god. It is bandit country out here, man.
Finally, chat if I've survived one. That's a problem. Blinded by my... Can I turn my wheel down? I can't see the bloody corner. The skill issue's going on now. I'm struggling. Like, it's not dark enough for the lights to illuminate the road fully, and I've got this bloody bright steering wheel. Times have really fallen off now for me. Do you know, I might as well change tyres. Got the pace. That time was a three twenty nine point five six. Now it's gone very dark. Lighting here is not quite done. Maybe damage. I did clout a couple of cars quite hard, so that Ferrari especially. I feel like I'm like really struggling to see where I'm going with this wheel. Guys, come on! Holy sh... <laughs> I can't see! <laughs> Got that Bolivian type beat going on. Someone was facing the wrong way. Oh no, it's this guy again. Oh, I'm so doomed. Look at him, he's all over the place, bro. I'm gonna box this up, I think. Yeah, that was on purpose. Yeah, there's not much um, policing on these yet. We do have damage now. I don't even have a request pit button anymore. Nope. <sighs> J 
Chat, it's broken. I'll tell you now, it's broken. I don't want to... That was the wipers, we'll do it again. That was the wipers. There's some time in the pits here for the damage repair, but you've got to do it. Yeah, big damage. Good takes us, I guess. If I'm going to stop every lap. No, I, I, I didn't want to stop all this time, but... Fuck okay. it. Try and turn off the wheel lights, I don't know how. I think there is a way. I might be on mediums because I, I changed a bit late. Oh, I, I'm not going to back out of this now. Backing out of this is just how I retire the car, basically. Never, never press escape in this game. Come on, let me go. <sighs> Mediums, it's alright. Ice tires. Brother. All the bloom makes it really hard to see around here. I know the effect they're going for, but you just can't bloody see what's going on. Ah, a bit of an extra break, breaking zone there for the tyres. All right, they're coming up nice. Oh, it's a car about 7,000 RPM. Pretty cool. <laughs> the MX-5 does that. It breathes big time. It will red MX-5 to seven and a half. Those cars, though, are usually not very talky. I did drive that uh, that Wolf that ref to like, I don't know what it was, like 13,000 RPM, something like that.
It's a bit different though when you're like in a video game in, or 2D screen, you know. The bloom effect would be pretty cool and like in like maybe VR or something. And it would be quite realistic, like, like you say, because of the phone screen vibe, but we ain't doing that, we're doing something else. He's got a pit, but he's probably not going to have damage like I did, so he should come out in a very similar place to me. My tires are not warming up. Porsche curves the goat form and tires. I never flash to let him know that I'm there. So it is. Are we still in the pits? I didn't mean to tell him earlier, mate, you know that. <laughs> nice back to P1, yeah. All good. definitely feel different conditions having effects on the car like it's cooler now I should have like tougher tires would have been a better bet here it's barely leading yet Mozart. Oh, he ain't doing well. Oh, that was terrifying. No ABS moment. Put in the gap now on the cold tyres, he's not quite got the same pace. Whoa. 
a wiggly big move through there. Yeah, it's been good so far. Some pretty interesting traffic, and the guy who I think was... Oh, that guy, um, not Pablo, is still going in fourth place. Okay, time's better than that. Tires are warm enough. Like a nice relaxing drivers, isn't it? Do I go off? I haven't been able to pass that guy again. What's his name? Raven guy, whatever his name is. At least, like, have a cool made-up name. Rimble McScrimble. You know, you know what you're getting with him. Actually, you know what you're getting with someone called Raven as well. A deviant art account. <laughs> oh, yep, yeah, that's the corner, Jimmy. That's that's a great cor great corner, Jimmy. Yeah, another great corner. The great corners keep coming. I, I I am finding it hard to see where I'm going. I've got to say, in these in these night conditions, like just the brights are the brights. The lights are very bright and they're quite dazzling. I find myself like breaking early or breaking at the wrong point. Doesn't help that the wheel also is illuminated AF. Time three, Bailey P1, yeah boy! I mean, it must be nice to watch, but like to drive, uh, it's a bit difficult. Looks like chat for a hair too long there down that street. Oh, Paul Raven's gone. What a shame. I mean, how many of his name was Paul? <laughs> I was expecting something a bit more, you know. A bit more pizzazz, a bit more deviant art. Whoa.
The hour 27 to go. I'm looking forward to the day to come back. <laughs> Shouldn't be too long now. That was nearly DNF there, chat. Oh, I, I glisten all the time. That's a better lap time there. What? I'm the one changing the engine map or the motor map. My goal was to have some battery but not drain it and not fill it up. Because if you fill it up and you get into a braking zone, DNF! Oh no! Bamman! You've just subbed at a terrible point! My fellow Toyota are dead. The drama continues here at Fake Le Mans. The dream's over, boys. It's a bit too heavy on the brake. Not Pablo, he's back in P2. Oh, nice place to have a stutter, my god. If I can solve the RFU stutters, I'll be very happy with that. Oh, F you go, mate. Hello, Toyota, brother in the mud. chatting about this 
It's been a long night. Oh, we're still going. Perhaps we'll have a P2 if we have to get him on the straight afterwards. We can't really dive bomb P2s in this. We don't have the speed. What's the R? It's uh, Rimble. Rimble McScrimble. Real name. So much death. The yellow is. <laughs> you know, I mean, you know it's a yellow flag. There's no excuses. I'm gonna go to bed tonight, and I'm gonna see yellow, <laughs> and a big yellow square in front of my face. Why am I so slow? I'm cruising, mate. Tell him why why isn't he leading by 144 seconds? Tell him that. Ask him. is in a better split than me. <laughs> I don't need to do quality that so. Oh, good Jimmy. This is the guy that um, didn't know where to go last time. No, it's not. Slow and bad. That solves that, I guess. Ah! Jimmy, how TF do I get good? I practice the heel out of my sim and still suck. What does a brother do? Um, if you're practicing and you're like not getting any better, it's probably because like you're repeating mistakes. So a good idea is to go watch someone who is actually good. So not me. Uh, maybe like a, if you're on iRacing, for example, like go and watch the leader, watch his lap time, see what he does, see where he breaks. And then go out there and just try and do that, basically. You'll find time even in just copying the guy. The headlights are pretty like... Boof, boof, boof.
But I'm driving like shit at night. I've lost like a second of that. Try to have the lights off would help. 100%. But we'll leave it as it is for now. Starting to see the first bits of sunlight now, so. She's skating around a bit. Oh god! Jeez. I thought that was my car! <laughs> I thought my car whenever it bumbles I went and I fucked it! <laughs> Great a series! Guys, welcome to a non Formula One game. They exist. <laughs> Alright oh, you guys, appreciate it. I thought I broke my car. <laughs> Hope your uh, your race went well or whatever you've been up to today. so far I mean only four hypercars left Oh, so the other flag isn't the sun. Okay, I thought it was. I also think the medium's the wrong tyre at night. They're getting quite cold. Even that, you've got to have the pressures a fair bit. I always give a little flash just to let them know that like, I'm going this way. Also, just to blind them a little bit, you know. Hope you guys are enjoying your stream, by the way. A little bit of enduro. Usually do it to people, but it's nice to do it on my own sometimes. If you are. You're on YouTube, I'd appreciate you hitting the like button. Subscribing too. I'm making a hell of a lot of noise in chat for no reason. Engagement, baby. And if you're on Twitch and want to support, then feel free just to hit that follow button. You can subscribe as well if you want, but it's probably going to cost you. And so I just appreciate you guys all choosing to spend your time with me. Imagine going out, going to a bar or something. No, we don't do that here, chat. We don't do that. We play video games. You drive pretend race cars. Boy, he nearly died. Oh shit, what happened? Time's slowly coming back. This is my A, yeah. Well, I'm noticing in these um, conditions here that I definitely want to have. A bit more, um, a bit more heat in the tyre, a bit more pressure. Someone just jimboed. Thank you, someone. I missed that one. Thank you, someone subbed. Oh god, the traffic in front. What is it? P2. Thank 
Thank you to a day in reverse. Who was the other one? Well, sorry. <laughs> My thing in the game so far. Um, I'm enjoying it. I enjoy. I enjoy the driving this game. I'll, I'll keep saying that. And we're basically playing like a modified version of RF2, you know, which RF2 drives well. I'm enjoying just driving around. This is this is fun. I perform my own stunts, yeah. Yeah, the medium tyre is okay in the day, but I'm on it now and you can see it's just not getting warm. It doesn't stay warm. I get to these points in the circuit, I'm really struggling. Thank you, Dash. Thank you for the two months, mate, through the primers. Thank you for the bits and dallow. Oh, okay. Can I see it? That's a, that's the best way to prepare someone for an instant coming up is by blinding them with the yellow flag. That, that way they have to slow down. Thank you, Red Comet. Cheers, mate. Thank you, Primers. Much appreciated. I said it's pretty realistic in how it drives and how it feels. Hey, you, Victor. 45 yeah, months. Sorry. Cheers, dude. It does say really. That P2, I think. I see the car's like far from blind though, it's definitely a handful or so. Hoping two more pit stops. Blinded by that logo. Well, that's been giga so far. Been gold now. That's a lap time gold. Oh, God.
Oh! Chat! Sunlight! I don't know if the tyres, I mean, I've heard they're getting cold, but this is crack temperature actually changed. I saw the, um, in the start of the race, it was like saying the temp is going to be the same all the way through. Might just be an air temperature though. Crack temperature would change. That's I put my act together. Just round, round, round 26. We're so back, chat. So over an hour left. Be quick into there, Christ. The easy broadband. Probably a tire thing then, Bruce. That was okay. It's a bit of a lonely race, but you know, it's lonely because you pulled away from the guys, you know. But it's still a race. Even if it's not the most challenging one. Yeah, the biggest challenge has been the traffic. Been lethal. Okay, you're ready to get blinded by the big yellow flag. There it is.
my freaking eyes. I'll give it a headlight something now. One hour to go! That's it pretty though, in the chat. Look at this. You can almost smell the, the dew on the grass. Thank you, Earl. It's good to see you, man. In the ten months. Good to see you, dude. That wiper's right in the way. Who needs full damage? Why are you in my pit stop now? RFT moment. Got a couple of laps left yet. Oh my god. Row two. What happened there? Did I get to full battery? Was I at full battery? Someone on YouTube go back. Did my battery go to full? I think that's what happened. Yeah, there you go. If you get full battery, you like lose some of like the braking changes drastically, basically, and you just go and you just go off. That's why I've been managing it this entire time. Oh, from the van wall. Well, I think in this race and it's still putting all down. That was scary, man.
I wonder why I went like that. So, oh, and it goes. Do I have like one more lap then of NRG? I don't know how much I've been using. I don't even want to stop again, you see. Energy last 7.1. Our box is sad to be safe. It's a bit lonely here. NRG is the total energy per stint, including fuel. Right, put more fuel in. Why isn't it, why is it not put, why is it stopped at that? Hello? Why don't you put that much in? I'm confused. What happened? I said put that much in. Why didn't they put that much in? Maybe it's enough to finish, I don't know. But that's not what I asked for. So I have to finish on that fuel now, or what? I don't understand. Twenty-five seconds is a max second refuel. So many weird rules, man. And obviously, if, if that's the rule of a series, that's the rule of a series. That's a sort of weird rule that's going to annoy people into not racing this, you know. We just keep the endurance elements alive, which is nice, I guess, but I don't know. I enjoy the small details, I just don't know them. <laughs> I just wonder if everyone else is going to enjoy them, you know?
Oh, this is P2 in front of me. Soft tire bounded. Thank you, Mike. Alright. I'll put I'll put enough fuel in, it's okay. Be good. Mm -hmm. I didn't say that was a new concept, but I didn't fucking know about it. Ferrari just hit hundred percent. Um, thank you, Voltage. Tier one six months in advance, legend. Thank you, man. Oh, it's splashing out. Thank you, man. Oh, we nice to do at some point. I haven't done one for a while. I uh, like a casual stream on Twitch. Where we sit down with some sort of beverage and watch some cool clips and chat shit. That'd be fun. Yeah, it's been a pretty um, hard race. <laughs> a lot of a lot of death in this race. As you can see, you know. Right, six in there somewhere. Come on. Well, oh, maybe not. I found a limit of how much I can throw it. <laughs> I 
it does, I gotta say, in a way, feel very much like it goes. It feels like the Praga when it goes, you know. You know what you've done wrong, but there's no way you're gonna save it. I love the sound of this car on downshift. Pretty really sounds like the real thing. Nah, I didn't fancy doing that first this year. This is good practice, you know. It's good to sit down and get into the rhythm of driving properly again. Thank you, Terry. Also to Max as well for the Prime sub. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you. Go. There might be a 25 in there, you know. But I've got to actually do the lap, this is not it. Okay, we'll go. That was just sideways all the way through there. Apparently that's quick. Twenty five on the relative boys. That's how you do it, exactly. Aerodynamicists hate him. See how this man has a windscreen wire, but defeated Red Bull using this one simple trick. Well, Sam, bit fucked.
Oh, look at that relative, boys. No! Oh, we're dead. Run's dead. Run's alive. Run's dead. 25! Oh, there it is. Soft tires of the goat. Wrong gear. Wrong gear. Oh my god. I keep having these hyper spins. <laughs> That's very much on brand for me, though. Set best lap, die immediately. I'm going to back it down a bit now, you know. Thank you, Mench. Need a prime sub. Thank you, uh, Sergeant Robson, as well. T1, six months in advance, what the hell? Thank you, bro. Thank you, got. Okay. What is going on?
really trying to lose this race now. The car's become very nervous. Well, let me just, uh, no, wrong one. That was a big hit too, that comes to lose a wheel there. Just wiping away the damage chat, never seen it before. Thank you, Leonard. Leonard's like, yeah, good crash. I'm not going to take, I mean, I've got a bit of a vibration, but it's more just the steering damage I want to come in for. It went because I tried to drive through the traction control. I was not interested. Oh my god. Chat, hello. Look to chat, one over here. Concentration's starting to go a bit, I think. Come on. I've got a bit of time, it's all right. Please, no punterino, Jimmer. Go Jimmy and little Toyota to the end. Thank you, man. Yes. Needs a little bit of patching up before going to the end here. No. I was over there, it's all right. Got this. How much fuel is that going to put in? Is that fuel to add or fuel total? It doesn't say. Yeah, whatever. I'll get you next time, Paul, ben. Thank you, Elliot. Thank you, uh, Andre. You did the 360 spin ad. Ever feel like the genius? It definitely is you, mate. I don't want you to remove it. I want you to put it in. Why, why is it not putting fuel in? Oh. No, but it's got no, it's got no fuel. It won't let me put any fuel in it. Oh, you fucking idiot. Why is it doing virtual energy? Why would it do that? Let me put more in. Yeah, the guy just twatted me in the bum bum there. I might be I might be messed up here, boys. I might lose the race. I've pitted too much. I 
don't really know what to do with this fuel situation. Why don't we add anything? All this stuff just like not clear to someone like me who maybe doesn't understand what's going on. <laughs> Keep going in. Uh, thank you, uh, Red One, middle sign. Thank you, guys. I drove so well the first part of this race, and it all starts to fall apart. Maybe I didn't follow the stint plan exactly. I hope it isn't one of these annoying half oh, active things. You have to do things in a very specific order to make them work. Or maybe it's, maybe it's like a weird reg thing that I just don't understand. This is fine. Why did I increase my max fuel descent? I don't understand. That's how much fuel I can put in. Just put fuel add. I don't feel right. I still put it to the right. Did it repair? Maybe it's still got damage left over. It was quite a big shunt. That time was a Thank you, Red, for giving us up. Right out there. Oh, yeah. Don't drive through this time, do me. The way I see it, right, is that I, I could probably have sat down and, like, learned more of this stuff did before I started the race, you know. But I've been playing Sims for a long time. Played RF2 for a long time. And if I'm sitting here and getting confused at how this menu's working, imagine someone who picks up this game and tries to get into it. Who doesn't... who hasn't played these games for years and years and years, you know.
You can always definitely account on user skill issue, and you know if you watch my streams, it's going to get a lot of that, but... Don't worry about me, worry about the person who doesn't play Sims and tries to, wants to get into this game. Otherwise this game is just for people who have played RF2, and it shouldn't be. Oh, it's fine. This is just in my purple middle sector. Oh no. Alright, well, you don't have to worry about any of it. People just do it for you. They got killed. No, a shame. Hey, bro. That's right. So gas. My wrist. I've done quite a lot of driving today. The virtual energy and max fuel was very confusing in the pit lane. Just do one or the other. Like you're not putting, you're not charging the car up in the pit stop, are you? I don't think you are. Just have one. I know what they're trying to do, the whole NRG thing, they're trying to push that, but it's so confusing. But they're not. <laughs> If they're doing it virtually in my rounds, take away the option. It, it, it's, I mean, does it actually do anything? Are you doing anything when you do that? Tell me, please. It's super convoluted. Yeah, that, that, that Corvette just ripped. Look at that wireless charging fucking pit box. Thank you, Red, mate, for gifting another sub. Cheers, dude. Sorry if I'm missing stuff. Oh, God. Someone's done something. Someone's crashed. Katrina, hello. Good to see you. Thank you so much. Nice to see you can fix the car and it's still competitive. Yeah, that is nice, especially when you're bad like me and crash a lot. The refill there allows the virtual and oh my god. A shit out of that makes endurance racing hard to follow, man, you know?
Oh, thank you so much, you KL. You can, you can go, bro. My life, it would be so much easier to be a GTE, wouldn't it? I don't know, what I want to do is put enough fuel in to get to the end. That's what I want to do. It's been chaos, man. I right, just want to have my car get to the end. Oh, no. Oh my god, working this stuff out on the flyers. I need a calculator for this shit, man. Yep. Brilliant, Jimmy. Boxes up anyway for more NRG. I don't know what I need, honestly.
I might just put 40 in just to be safe. Am I allowed to do that? Do I have to put more energy in to do that? that does the ratio off when I do that? I've got to add fucking premix into it or something. Why, how would I know that? How would I know that? Just give me that. There you go. I'm doing that. If I don't get to the end, I don't understand this game, and we won't. But we won't win. Holy hell! Someone said in the chat, like, if you do that, you're only going to get 18 litres of fuel. And I was like, and I have no idea how that works. No, zero idea how that works. Well, we'll box and we'll see how we do. We'll see if we end the race or not. Obviously, I need to brush up on my um, WEC rulebook. Encyclopedia. Just do my um get some like a uh, ridiculous masters or something. Lap three. PhD Lap five, and fucking one, two, NRG. Two, two. That's what I need. Twenty four. What's twenty four layers? Put more in, you fucking idiots. What, what, is, what is this? What is this? Someone please tell me how this fucking works. I've got no clue. Shouldn't have done that art degree, man. Because that has to drive a hypercar instead. I don't know, I've got no idea what that is, and uh, it's obviously not very simple, you know. Well, if it is simple, I just don't get it. That's great if it's like in the real world, but there's zero in this game to, just, to, to tell you what that is.
So basically, you, you'd always fill up to 100% on your NRG. Is that, what, is that what you're saying? You'd always do that. Were you allowed to do that? So why is it an option to not do that? And why does it set itself below what it should be? Why, why, why am I even allowed to touch it? Well, if I can short fill them, why would it matter if I've got 100% NRG and I don't use it? It's literally nothing. It does nothing apart from limit what you can put in. Am I, am I, am I understanding that right? Two point nine laps until empty. That's great. Fucking hell, mate. What what a convoluted system that is. Obviously I can't blame the, the game if that's what it's like in real life, but fucking hell. Whatever happens to just fucking drive the car? I think I guess the drivers do just drive the car. I also go home and fucking read the rule book after this. I said go home, I am home. Giga fuel save. Saddest win ever. <laughs> I'm just like fucking confused, man. So I've not won yet.
It's just something that should be explained somewhere, I think, you know. It's a cool system, obviously a lot of work will enter it from 397. You can't really fault them for, for doing that, but it's just, it's so convoluted. Thank you, Drew. Appreciate you, mate. How some are you gonna make this game? Studio 397 all of it. Yeah, exactly. They went to town, man. They've got another lap to go. to go around again. It's alright. Mm. Just cruising around you can see the lap time's coming right down. Ah, nice! Winning in the Peugeot. Good job, man. This is a big achievement. Just saw the end there, chat. Oh, God. On again. I'm, I'm well tired, chat. W lap, come on, a few more corners. Yeah, if there's one more lap, then we are sort of boned.
Right, come on. Almost been ten years since Scott Weiland passed away. For quite guilty, I don't know who that is, but um Thank you, man. Oh thank god. Holy shit, well we won! Well, fuck me, that was a uh, mental gymnastics at the end there. Not many people got to the end, it seems, there. Thank you very much, my dear. We made it, my brain. Server didn't die? What's this? Not over tomorrow? No. What's happened to Bailey? Oh, this is where Bailey gets killed, right? Oh no. Chat, you want to see Bailey die? <laughs> <laughs> well, I say no. Oh, Tim's turning there a little bit. There was a lot of this in, in, in the races. There was a lot of this shit. Please, no Punterino, Jimmer. It was bad, man. Thank you, Nate. Thank you for the five, Congratulations, mate. Congratulations, Jimmer. You did it. You're incredible. You're the best gamer ever. <sighs> I am the best gamer of all time, chat. Oh my god, DNF's up to P14! <laughs> 13 finishes. Chat, I'm done. I'm well tired. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. That was, that was a stream that happened. It was what a weird it was a weird race, wasn't it? Like it was it was fun to do it and I enjoyed it and before you guys on YouTube leave I'd appreciate you tapping the like button on the way out. But um one of those just weird things where I ne we need to know what the game is, I guess. Need to understand how the game works, because I, I got no I got no idea. Clueless for pretty much the whole thing, but all done. Um thank you all so much for tuning in. Love you. You're the best. Um Oh, let's go raid. Uh, I'll leave it there for now for Twitch. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you, YouTube. You're the best. I'm going to go have a massive sleep and beer in that order. <laughs> oh, see you soon. Video out probably tomorrow of something. I don't know what it's going to be, but it'll be here soon. Love you. You're the best, guys. Thank you all for tuning in. Thank you all for spending your time with me. Bedge.